Hey there, guys. So I hope that you have taken some time to celebrate your little wins and that you're tracking it, that you know, okay, yeah, I had this little win here. I had this little win here. And so that you are really celebrating that and that we're going to talk a little bit about practicing some gratitude making sure that we're doing that continually, right? So if you're not sure what you tapped into, this is my, my name is Dr. Lisa, and I'm a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. I am not a medical doctor, so I can't write your prescription, but I can recommend a good crystal. Um, so we're talking about manifesting your best life within 88 days, even though, you know, we're a little bit far into this, it doesn't mean you can't start here, but I would recommend going back and starting from the beginning. And I'm going to give you the importance of practicing gratitude throughout this whole entire process. So gratitude, why is that so important? And why have we been talking about little wins and, and all these things? Because all along the way, this is not a sprint. This is kind of a marathon in a way, right? This is not this is not like a really fast paced thing. This is you're literally changing your way of life. Just like if you are seeking to maybe lose weight or seeking to get healthy in any other way, you don't just do dieting for weight loss, like an instantaneous thing. You change your diet to make a lifestyle change so that over the course of the remainder of your life, you are now eating different foods, you're exercising on a regular basis, you're doing all the things that just make yourself right feel better, your body feel better. It also helps your mind, it also helps your emotions, it also helps your energy overall. But my point is, is that we understand how to do that and why we do that on a physical level. So it's the same thing on a metaphysical level. So we're changing our lifestyle over this time period where we become a, a manifest, a manifesting maven or a, a manifesting magician or a master manifester, however you want to put it, but you are getting into the habit of manifestation, of continual co-creation with God, universe, spirit, source, however this entity, these entities have then um, made themselves known to you, right? You are in a habit, okay, of co-creation. Why is that so important? Because we have to be in this kind of cycle of always going through, okay, this healing process, a little bit of shadow work here and there, um, understanding or understanding, you know, where our areas of frequency have been a tad bit lower. And then, right, at the same time, though, elevating it, okay? So at the same time, then, we then create the next level. We create the next um, thing in our lives. We create the next aspect of our lives that is a, a piece and a part of what our best life is. A huge part of that, a huge factor in all of that is this concept of this attitude of gratitude, okay? So how do you live a life of gratitude? It sounds so simple and people, I think sometimes I feel like some people make fun of it a little bit, but you know, this is real talk. You literally practice gratitude for every aspect, everything that you receive. So I am very grateful, for instance, for my my new apartment. I really enjoy it. I'm very grateful for the fact that it's quiet and that I literally, I don't know, you might be able to hear, you might not be, but I have finches and other types of birds that live in all the trees that are right here in this apartment, like community. And so I get to every day hear the song of the birds, of different birds, right? All day long. That's so wonderful. Okay, it's so beautiful that even in the midst of the third largest city in North Carolina, I still get nature, right? Um, I still hear crickets at night. Like it reminds me of back in Wisconsin. So I still hear that nature. I'm so grateful for that. I am very grateful for all of you. I'm very grateful that people 
find this information of value that they they are like, hey, this is pretty cool, right? And that I'm able to help you um, live your best life all along the way. I'm very grateful for my clients. I'm very grateful that I am well enough to uh, to cook, that I'm well enough to to still do all the things that I love to do, right? I am I get very grateful for the fact that, you know, I get to like, just like you do, like I, when I find somebody new on like YouTube or something like that, or Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, that I've, I'm like, oh, this is really neat, right? I found a new creator. All the little things, right? The little things in life I'm very grateful for. And when you can practice this this space of gratitude, this attitude of gratitude, of finding three things every day that you're grateful for, every day, just find three things that you're grateful for, no matter how big or how small, when you're able to do that, then you stay in this higher vibration space that you are not looking for the other shoe to drop, but you're looking for the next star to rise. That's a huge thing. I'm not looking for the other shoe to drop. I'm looking for the next star to rise in my purview. I'm looking for the next wish to be granted. I'm looking for the next thing to be extremely happy for, right? That's what I'm looking for. So if you can do that on a regular basis, amazing. That's just amazing, right? Then you stay at that level, Then we get to this point of not like neutrality, right? Where we're not like the swings, the pendulum swinging isn't that big of a deal. And we're living in a space of neutrality. So that if something were to happen that we thought, oh, well, I'm not sure, you know, that we weren't expecting, that's okay. It's fine. It's all right. We're doing okay. Because we know that there are all these other things to be grateful for. And each of the little wins makes a huge difference. All right. All right. So hopefully this helped you. The next video we're going to talk about allowance. So how do we practice, right? This, um, how do we enact the law of allowance into our lives? All right. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget, like, follow, share, subscribe, whatever it is. On, your, on the platform, hit the plus button on TikTok, all that great stuff. Um, and leave me some comments. Leave me some comments. Okay, I do read them all. And if you have any questions about this, how do I find gratitude in spite of whatever else is going on, all that kind of stuff, just anything, let me know and we will address it. All right, gang. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. And never forget... Give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.